can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here we are back at the O2 Arena, London, England. We were not here when Leon Edwards confronted Jorge Masvidal backstage, the whole three-piece and a soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a meal that he was not expecting. Ah. Let me tell you something, man. When you're, in the arena, when you're in the O2 Arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Oh, that's how it's done. He blocks the shot and then delivers the straight counter. Gets to the single collar tie. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Head kick lands. Oh man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Very fast like kick lands for. Just over three minutes to go. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Out of range with that one. And able to land that kick to the chin. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Big punch lands through the middle. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Big power shot there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he. Continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Good kick to the body. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ this kick-heavy strategy. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, another one lands flush. One head kick after the next tonight. Can someone tell me how his opponent is still standing? 
Clipped him with the right hand there. And another one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Working the inside of that lead leg. Let's go. Circle, circle. Keep that right hand up for me. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, nice body shot. Get those combinations going. Going to the knee strike now. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Massive elbow lands in the clinch. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Oh, Round two oh. is next. All right, buddy. Sit down. Take a breath. Let's slow it up. All right, here we go. Everything we're doing is working. Those punch-kick combinations are working. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. let's get to round two. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Oh, wow. How about Roundhouse kick. Nice kick. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Checks that leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Hold your ground. Straight punch is good. It's work, guys. Come on. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice kick. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, lands a nice straight. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. 
his opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. The fighter's on point tonight, lands a beautiful kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big inside kick. Superman punch lands! Nice block. We approach the one minute mark here in the second round. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, beautifully tied with that head kick. 15 seconds to go. That horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. So as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He's got the single collar tie. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, the head kick has been his primary weapon thus far, but he doesn't telegraph it, so the opponent doesn't know if he's attacking the body, if he's going low, or if he's gonna go upstairs. So he has gone upstairs repeatedly and to great effect in this matchup tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Nice punch to the head. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head high, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. 
Oh, wheel kick is good. Impressive. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Lee gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, nice. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Got to the clinch, turned the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. Some nice deception there as he lands the hook. Oh, and the high kick lands. Do not back up. Let's go oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue? Here's a tissue. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Great kick to the body. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is Connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. And there's that jab. Fast leg kick lands. There it is. Right back on his legs. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just out of range with that uppercut. 
What a nasty kick that was thrown with ill intent. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to go. He's hurt. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, doing work with the jab. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, it looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Pretty good right hand. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Quick jab lands there. Beautiful kick to the bottom. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Lands the low kick. Nice punch, Lance. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Final seconds here. Oh! oh, he's got him hooked badly now. Oh. Oh. Hey, stop. What a round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, we got a few clips for you, DC, of all the damage doled out in that round and his eye continuing to be the main target. I mean, he's getting hammered. He is getting hit in that spot over and over again. And because of that, his opponent has gained in confidence and he is very limited in what he can do in his approach because safety has to be first now. You ready to fight? Ready. Cool. Here we go, fifth and final round. Nice. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Right back on those leg kicks. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Nice left hand by him. 
Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Nice crack there. That landed. Oh, a huge block there. What a beautiful body kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. Nice block. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Oh, big left. the sidekick now. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot and you see the referee maybe starting to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. I mean, John, we love violence. I mean, that's why we love our job so much. We get to watch people hurt each other. But it's hard to watch this. Because yeah. This guy is as tough as they come, but these body shots have really accumulated, and he is starting to take way too much damage. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Yeah! Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh! Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Huge elbow lands from Clint. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nicely done. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. And there you go, again, half guard. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. That elbow got to the target very quick in the clinch. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, oh. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest, 49-46. 48-47 and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Roos the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce